All right, hey guys, so here we have the gold lines. Does that make, does that make a difference? All right. All right, so hey guys, here we have the Northwest Envirofan gold lines, 160 F7. I believe that's what these are. These fans are from 2015. Um, only about three years old. So a little background information, I got these about a month ago, I'd say, and I've just kind of been intermittently working on these. Um, I got a total of three. Um, I only did work to two of them. I wanted to use the third one as a reference if I actually needed it. Um, but yeah, I got these from an arcade about an hour away. I paid 10 bucks each and have about 30, another 30 bucks into them, so I paid... So far, I've only paid about 60 bucks for them, so that's actually not too bad. Um, I had to do quite a bit of work. Um, so what happened is they were left outside, and all the motors filled with water. I don't know which one, but one of these two did not fill up all the way. It had a little water in the bottom. So the bottom bearing was toast, but the top one was good. Um, but anyways, I figured since I'm replacing the bearings, might as well varnish the windings. And I decided to, you know, I already had the motor apart. So I decided to uh, repaint them. They don't look perfect, but they're far better than what they were. Um, blades were pretty good. I had to use a little sharp on the edges because they were a little chipped up. Um, so yeah, I was going to test them, but you know, I've got three of them. I'll probably test the other one with like a standard control or something. But I figured I'll probably be using variable either way, so I might as well knock two birds out with one stone. Uh, these have a cut down rod. I don't know what they would have originally come with. Um, but yeah, I do. I think they come with a 10-inch 10, 10 down rod from the factory. Um, the heck was that? Is that my flip-flop? I don't know, I heard like a squeaking. I thought it was like a mouse or something. Which I wouldn't really doubt if it was in here. It's probably about that time of the year. Um, but yeah, anyways. These, yeah, I don't know. I mean, they turned out good. I've been wanting to get some of these for the garage for several years now. Um, was going to get three. I was going to put the third one in the back. But the way lighting ended up turning out... Um, it just made more sense to put two small fans back here, even though I do have the turret cover. This is hooked up, but um, I just need to get it out of the way, so I just threw it on the ceiling. And this was because I wanted to store the can arms, anyways. So this this worked out pretty good. That that uh, round was just staying though. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's go and test them out. I don't think they'll stall, but they might. This is set for before I replaced the bearings, so I put them up. You know, I installed them, and uh, they worked good for the first day, maybe two. And then one of them started making quite a bit of noise, and the other one started locking up, because what had happened is, because there was all that water in there, all the grease had pretty much washed out of the actual bearing seat, so... You have kind of rusted bearings, and they're just going to start sticking together. You got rust that's adhering to other rust, so that's the thing that happened. Here's the uh, other one over here. I don't know if I can do it with two hands or one hand. All right, so I'm going to pause the video. So this is how they sounded before. Not too good. Good thing that's there. All right, so yeah, they are going to keep going. I actually have ran them a little bit on like a medium low just to break them in. This one was a little bit stiffer. Um, I actually just added this gold stripe not more than like five minutes ago. I got the stuff over here. It's the stuff that Christian Chandler recommended. It actually works pretty good. It's almost identical. The other stuff is like, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's pretty much identical. So that's the low speed. I got that little uh, sentry on the wall above the window. I thought that was kind of a cool spot for it. I've got a 
those two up there is like space filler. I love that 6250. That's one of my favorites. Once I find more fans, though, those two will be removed. Let's give these like a quarter of a turn. So I've got my nice aesthetic low, and then I've got a yeah, more usable low. Leave that one over there. I think that one's a little bit noisier of the two, but they're not too bad. I mean, compared to the Tats, these things are like night and day. Not a big difference. Let's give it another quarter of a turn. They do get louder, however, they do kind of quiet down once they get up to speed. So these, um, the older gold lines have a bolt that goes from top of the motor all the way through, and these aren't any different. Well, they are a little bit different. That bolt is more exposed, so it's, you know, it's got three bolts on the, three, like, nuts on the bottom. And this is, like, recessed, so they're countersank, and then they have, like, some kind of filler to cover it and then sand it smooth to give kind of, like, a seamless look. I, um, I actually used wall filler. It was, like, a little putty-type thing. It actually worked really good on this. So there's my, my uh, more reasonable low speed. Maybe in the future I'll try using a uh, 81220. That should give a decent range of speeds. But I'm okay with my uh, variable speed control. I've had this for a while. That one's more balanced. This one seems like it's got a blade that's tweaked. I'd love to have gotten the 7.3 out of here for today, but I have an IDM that's on the way, and until I get that, I can't really move it. Yeah. IDM is what controls the injectors and such, and right now it's in fail-safe mode, so... <laughs> it's, it's, it's inoperable. Another quarter of a turn. Good medium-high. Now, I could be remembering wrong, but I think these are even faster than they were before. I wouldn't think they would get much faster. This is already pretty, pretty darn quick. So, I wasn't going to leave the downer that's on these, but I kind of thought about it, and having the slightly longer downer is probably better. Because if I put, like, the shortest downer on there above the um, wall or whatever... You know, the part that comes down with the license plates. It'd be well above that. So it's not really going to be shooting any air out. But with this down, it should be fine. It's kind of circulating all around the garage. So let's... I mean, we're pretty much already... Already there. Let's just go to high. My god, these are loud. Coke cans rolling around in my bed. That's how powerful these things are. Very good airflow, let me tell you. It's, it's a lot, it's not a lot different than having the um, tatami. It, it's more, but I think the circulation is a lot better. Um, the Dayton's was, or Dayton, I guess I should say. It was really good for, I mean, like, they're designed for spot cool, and these are more for circulation. I mean, I wouldn't mind two Dayton's, but they'd have to be black, because so this looks too cool. White would work, but this is kind of the idea that I was going for. I wanted to have... 
kind of basic stuff, but I painted some things black literally for this reason. I want to get some black gold lines. Painted this door black. Did out black and yeah, just black outlets and switches. There's something else I want to do. Oh, so I wanted to paint the floor with like garage paint and then where the wall comes up, I want that to be black too, all the way around the garage. Yeah, you can see it's kind of a mess. <laughs> It's um, it's like a losing battle with me. I can never keep anything clean, and these gold ones didn't make it any better because that was taking up quite a bit of space on the workbench. So yeah, I'm very happy with the results. They're a lot quieter. Um, since our bedrooms are right above this, the uh, tats. I mean, they were just obnoxious through the floors. Even on high. And these are a lot quieter. I mean, I think you can still hear them. But they're not too bad. I'm really hoping I can get through this, uh, this gold line this season. I mean, it's already November. So, I'm hoping to get through it. I don't think there'll be an issue there. We've got a GE that I'm working on. It actually doesn't really need any work. I was just cleaning it up and decided to clean up the rotor and I don't know I just really like clear coating the rotors on antiques I think it looks really nice the only one I didn't do is on the um, baby round nose and that's because you can't even really see the rotor I mean it's mostly covered up by the blade arms and um, the turtle was already painted I just didn't want to mess with it So this one was the one that stopped first, and it looks like this one's going to stop last. Interesting. Probably not going to be a huge difference. But it does look like it's in the lead. I also uh, painted the inside of the motors, too. I think I did that in the ring fans, too. Just to prevent rust from spreading, if there is any that's left behind. I mean, I think I did a pretty good job removing all of it. Unfortunately, with these, I couldn't get the satter, satter, the statter out. It was, kind of, it was like, I think they pressed it in, so that's why. So yeah, much smoother running fans now. I'm very happy with the results. I mean, these are like brand new condition now. That one stopped, and this one's next. Yeah, I think this is from April of 2015. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.